Hello, my lovely Cancerians, and a very warm welcome to your January 2021 horoscope. Can you believe it? Another new year beginning. Happy New Year to you. The month starts out on the 7th with Mars finally coming out of Aries, where he's been for many months, and he's going to go into Taurus. Where is he? He's coming here into your 11th house, joining Uranus for you, lovely Cancerians. Now, wherever Mars is in the chart transiting, it's where it's time to put energy and life and vitality into that area. And the 11th house has to do with your dreams, your wishes, what you're hoping for, what you're visualizing. And Mars is encouraging you to do something about it. Uranus is giving you surprises about some of the things that you might want. And also asking you to consider not only your personal wishes, which of course are important as far as relationships, family, finances, spiritual direction, career, but also in relation to the greater whole, our global community. You might find yourself putting energy into a local community, an online community, you might really be galvanizing something, getting it going, being very inspired. Something may come suddenly to you. Maybe something you've been looking for, your tribe, the people you want to get together with, the people who resonate with you. You might decide you want to lead up a team or, or community of your own or collaborate with others. But in some way, the Mars there is about you putting energy into it, putting passion into the life area of friends, friendships. What kind of people do you want to associate with? What kind of people do you want to interact with? And then take some action to connect with those kinds of people. On the ninth of the month, we have got Mercury coming into this eighth house. Also on the ninth, Venus coming to join, whoopsie daisy, Sun and Pluto in your seventh house of relationships. And on the 13th, a new moon in the relationship house. So we've got seventh and eighth houses here uh, in the spotlight for you, Cancerians. Lovely to have a new moon uh, and the sun here in this relationship area and Venus. So if you're looking for romance, this could be your lucky month and your lucky year. It's a good time for peace and harmony in relationships. It's a good time for a new beginning in relationships, starting fresh, starting fresh with the way that you see your relationships. So you can reinvigorate an existing relationship, or you can reinvigorate the way you see relationships now and create something entirely new and take your power because Pluto in this relationship house still for a few years yet is encouraging more and more Cancerians to have clear boundaries to take your power in every relationship. Not to sit back and be passive, sometimes possible there, but to be an active element in all your relationships, both personal and intimate. On the 20th of month, we've got the sun coming in this eighth house. So big eighth house focus. This is about releasing traumas from your past, becoming aware of the things that have caused you fear and upset and being able to release old habit patterns, old things that you just don't need anymore. Letting go of baggage, travel lighter. You have a tendency, Dave Cancerians, to hold on to things, many of you, yeah? What do you need to let go of? Start fresh this new year. Make some space for something new and better to come in. You may get into a deeper relationship. It's a great time for doing some research, for getting to the bottom of something. And on the, tw uh, on the 28th of the month, we've got a full moon happening in your second house of money. So uh, there may be some changes happening financially, maybe some changes happening with your work. Maybe it's time to launch that business, that product, that service. A full moon shining a light on your creative abilities, bringing out your talents and your gifts. 
dig them out, dust them off and share them. On the 30th of the month, Mercury going a retrograde here in this eighth house until the 21st of February. So do remember to back up your hard drive, get things repaired that need repairing before the end of the month and uh, be prepared for travel plans maybe to be disrupted next month, but uh, get important documents, leases, uh, things signed before the end of the month if you can. And uh, also uh, just really uh, make sure that any negotiations are complete, if you can, before the 30th. So there you have it. Wonderful Cancerians. I wish you a wonderful January. Thank you so much for those of you who support this channel on Patreon, for joining me on the live streams, and for liking, commenting, sharing, and subbing. From my heart to yours, lovely, sensitive Cancerians, bye for now.